Well, we haven't seen much of it just yet. The snow is most likely on its way right here in New England, and it is important to remind ourselves of safety practices to keep us all safe and healthy through the new year. Joining us this morning with help and tremendous advice are Michelle Pelletier and Neil Gagne with Beacon Mutual. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Great to have Good you morning. both here. You know, it's such an important topic. We've been lucky so far, not getting much snow, but it is certainly uh, imminent, as we all know right here in New England as the winter months approach. But before we get into some important advice we should be mindful of, Michelle, let's talk a little bit about Beacon Mutual, who you really are, and how long uh, the company's been here in Rhode Island, because we all know the name, but there's much to learn. Sure. So Beacon Mutual is the leading provider of workers' compensation insurance in Rhode Island. We've been around for about 30 years, and we insure over 12,000 businesses in the state of Rhode Island. I know you and your team work tirelessly. Uh, I've been, been in business for, for many decades, as you just alluded to, helping so many Rhode Islanders out. But safety, it's so paramount uh, in the workplace, at home, and especially during the winter months, isn't it? Yes, and at Beacon Mutual, we're all about preventing workplace injuries. It can happen in any season, but in winter, it's really a concern for us. It really is, especially when we have been enjoying the weather, and then out of nowhere, that cold snap hits, there's some snow, and we don't, we're not as mindful as we have been about ice or whatever it might be. So, Neil, let's talk about some of the most common injuries, you know, during the winter months that you see and people experience. Sure. I would say one of the biggest things we see, slip and falls. Now, that can happen year-round, but when it starts to snow, when it gets colder, that temperature drops and the ice starts to form one of the top injuries that we see across the board in any business. And it must be so frustrating because you know that so many of these things are preventable if we prepare. They are. If we, if, if we you know, pay attention to what we're doing and we try to, you know, take uh, some, some proactive steps, right, mm -hmm. to prepare ourselves, there's definitely things that we can do. And that's the thing. Yeah, not all preventable accidents do happen. We understand that, and I know both of you understand that as well, but anything we can do to take those precautions is so very vital. Let's talk uh, specific advice, things we can do when it comes to shoveling. What, what do we need to know? I would say, you know, before you even get started with shoveling, make sure that you have the appropriate footwear on. Uh, and I understand you've brought a prop. I, you know Let's what? see it, buddy. There it is. I didn't <laughs> want to wear it in, you know, just because it's not really seasonally appropriate today. It's a little bit uh, warmer out, but when the weather drops, you really want to have footwear that has, you know, a good cross tread pattern on the bottom of the sole. Gives you a lot of contact with the ground. It makes it harder to slip. You know, I'm missing a boot. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I had a feeling you looked a little <laughs> a little suspicious. And what about this? As luck would have it, we've got a prop right here. You can't chuck shoveling without one of these babies. That's it. You know, once you've got the appropriate footwear, you want to make sure if you're going to handle snow, remove snow manually, you want to have good technique. One of the top reasons why someone might have a soft tissue injury, hurt their back right. in particular, would be poor technique. And I think people out there have a tendency we want to get it done fast. We want, to, we want to get it done right away, but if we take our time, we'll be in much better shape, won't we? That's it, to slow it down. Yeah, with, with shoveling in particular, if you can push it, that's always going to be advantageous. If you can't push it, if it's heavier load, you know, just try to take small, you know, loads of the snow and don't twist and don't lean over. Try to use your legs. That's so very important. If I, if I give you my address, would you mind taking care of my driveway? I could be there <laughs> in an instant. <laughs> Famous last words. But Michelle, really, it's important uh, for your company. It's important for, you know, to, for, for your team, for all of you coming together. You're very proud of the work you do because it's it's crucial, isn't it? That's right. Our team of safety experts is in the field helping our policyholders um, prevent injuries, but when they happen, you know, we want to make sure that we get them better, get them back to work, get them back to their lives, back to the things they love, and so preventing injuries is the best choice, but if injuries happen, we're there for them. It really is. Well, uh, all kidding aside, we like to have fun in these segments, but it really is crucial information, and we appreciate you both being here, shedding some light on, you know, getting ready for those dreaded winter months. Right. We can get through them together. That's it. Nice to have you with us, folks. Thank you for the valuable information. If you would like to learn even more all about Beacon Mutual, we have links posted to them right now. Shovel your way on over carefully to roadshow.com.